Prescott Van Meyer III or PV3. Sommelier from home. In today's episode, we're doing Liqueur 43 or Liqueur 43. I worked on it a little bit just to get the sounds right. So this is a Spanish product. This is a liqueur from Spain. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever tried it either in a cocktail or on the rocks as it is enjoyed by many people. It has a nice amber color. I like the uh, sort of sexy outline on the bottle here. Lets me know I'm in for a muy caliente night. I'm telling you, I love that amber. Kind of makes me think that there's gonna be a mosquito suspended in the middle of this. Some dino DNA tucked in there. Frogs. No! Maybe later tonight, it'll bring out the dinosaur in me. <laughs> it sounded more like a cat. I know. But it is a very nice bottle. So I like the design. Do like the color. Now it says that this has Mediterranean citrus fruits in it and some selected botanicals. So I wonder if this could be used in say, an old fashioned or any other drink that uses an orange liqueur. Very, very thick. Coming out in the glass. Almost syrupy, you might say. Mm. So this comes in at 31% alcohol, 62 proof, if you will. So it's not quite as hard as, say, a vodka, but that 31% alcohol lets you know that you can drink it neat if you want. You know, it doesn't quite have the sting as some other hard liquors. So I have very strong vanilla coming off of it. I can, I can sort of smell that orange peel, a little bit of cinnamon. I know this is very popular in coffee. My father used to put brandy in his coffee. Maybe he's got some Spanish doppelganger who's throwing this in his cafe every morning. This with a little bit of sugar. Smells like 1 p.m. in Madrid. Maybe you've got four more hours of work at the office today, or maybe, <laughs> maybe it's just time for a siesta for the rest of the day. Smells like the first page in the typewriter as you begin your novel about a sommelier matador. Will he find love or the horns of a bull? Either way, it'll hurt. All right, let's give it a taste. Incredibly strong vanilla flavor. Very, very thick. Very sweet. If you're gonna use this in a drink, Definitely don't need to add any sugar. That is like a syrup. Woo, very vanilla-y. Very sweet. Did I mention how sweet it was? Woo, mmm. I mean, it's just like an explosion of flavor. I feel like my taste buds are at a rave in Ibiza. Is that what it sounds like? I haven't been to a rave in a while. What's this pill? I don't know but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna see some things. Fog machines blasting. Is the roof on fire? We don't know. I just met a girl from Portugal. Her name is Esmeralda. She's taking me to a hostel. Huh, looks a little dingy. Going to this room you say? Well, yes, I do have both my kidneys. Why do you ask? A hood has been put over my head, suddenly tied into a chair. The sommelier matador escapes, throws off the hood, kicks his way out. Olé! Okay, well the coffee's ready. Let's give this the true experience that most people enjoy it with. Got a nice cup of fresh brew here. Just add this to it. Just a little more. <laughs> As dad always said, coffee's fine, booze is finer. Excellent, if you've ever had a vanilla latte. Boy, that fits right in there with that. Hmm. Very rich, the roasty coffee flavor and the very smooth, aromatic vanilla, cinnamon, cocoa, orange peel, all really comes together. This is a great little pick-me-up. I can see you enjoying this with your tres leches cake. Are there really three types of different milk in there? I don't, I don't get it. How does the milk stay in there when they're cutting squares on it, you know? I mean, it's very, very soggy on the bottom. I'll tell you that. This is a, a delicioso. Now the sommelier matador is just chilling out, enjoying the vibe. Madrid, the passers-by walking by. Hola, como esta? Press cat, you want some? Hmm? You know, you've been hiding from me for the past few days. All right, don't go disappearing on me again. Sometimes I hear him in the walls. I said, who's, who's my little snuggle bear? Press cat. It is me, Sommelier Matador. The 
Sommelier Metadora. Hmm? You know, things have been a little slow lately. It's kind of nice to have a little pick-me-up. A little pick-me-up that gets you tipsy. Instead of vodka and Red Bull, I do coffee and licor. Cuarenta y tres. That'll get your lips loose on a Zoom meeting. Uh, you're still on mute, Carol. You're still on mute. Yes, we can't hear you now, because you took yourself off mute. And let's just talk about the fake backgrounds. We know you're not there. Like, Lizette, you're not actually camped at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. You're in your townhouse in Sarasota because nobody would wear that bathrobe to the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. What you see out your window is the parking lot to the big lots. Take that with a grain of salt since I've been unemployed for going on two years now. Truth is, I'm kind of jealous of the people who get to have Zoom calls with co-workers, workers who share space and paychecks with them. That would be nice. Maybe I'll give Dalton a quick Zoom. He keeps wanting to FaceTime me. <laughs> uh, kids. Maybe when the bottle gets to here, I'll give him a quick Zoom. Speaking of Dalton, he won't shut up about Discord. Keep saying, PV3, tell people about Discord. PV3, Discord, Discord, PV3. So, you know, shout out right now. PV3 Nation on Discord. I'm just loving today. I think I'm gonna give this a very high rating. I would pair this with sharing wonderful quality time with your loved ones. <laughs> just scratching their little ears. Well, because it's so sweet, I would pair this with all sorts of cocktails. Specifically, any coffee-based cocktails, or just put it in a cup of coffee yourself. Hmm. That's good. Boy, what a refined drink this was. Very, very sweet, so drinking in moderation, but uh, I had a great time with it. While this is a very particular drink with its sense of sweetness, I'm still giving it a high score of 83. And when in Abida, do the rave.